hands-free driving technology is showing up in more and more vehicles, but lots of people have questions, particularly about the safety. Well, today, General Motors hosted a demonstration to show how the advanced driver assistance system works and address concerns as well. Photojournalist Jesse Gonzalez has the sights and sounds. So from our initial launch in 2017 on the Cadillac CT6, we actually surveyed quite a few of those folks. And what we found is that over 85% of those customers said now that they've experienced Super Cruise, they absolutely need that technology in their next vehicle. So it truly is one of those features that once you've used it, you can't live without it. Once adaptive cruise control is engaged, all I need to do is hit the Super Cruise button, wait for the light bar to go green, and I am hands and feet free. We do all of the validation and vehicle testing prior to keys reaching customers' hands. So we do not beta test. We do all the testing internal to GM before it hits the road. One of the new enhancements that we have is automatic lane change. There you can see we changed lanes to get out of this lane in the left uh, because we have traffic that's going to be merging. So it automatically changed me into this lane. So one of the critical pieces to Super Cruise is the driver attention system. And that's there to alert the driver to make sure the driver is engaged and paying attention. It has both visual as well as audible alerts. This light bar, it will flash green at first to try to get your attention. I'll also get um, a vibration through our haptic seat that shakes or vibrates the seat to try to get my attention. Once I remove my hand, it picks up my face, it sees that I'm engaged again, paying attention to the road, and we're back into Super Cruise. Super Cruise is available now as an advanced driver assistance system. We've launched it on quite a few vehicles so far, initially starting in 2017, and we're committed to launching it on 22 new vehicles by the end of this calendar year.